Round 19 NRL action from the Parramatta Stadium. It's the Parramatta Eels at home to the Canberra Raiders. A couple of changes for the Eels. Luke Burt goes back to the interchange bench. Scott Donald will start in jumper number 18. Jason Kaler starts for his brother Nathan, who goes back to the bench. And the new player on the bench, making his debut for the Eels, Ben Duckworth, the coach, is Brian Smith. The Canberra Raiders have lost three key players, Ken Nagus, Luke DeVico and Ruben Wickey. Sione Famuana comes in in jumper number 20. Todd Payton in the front row in 16. The new names on the bench in 18, Darren Porter. In 19, Brad Kelly. They're coached by Mal Meninga. Sean Hampstead this afternoon's first grade referee. 118th first grade game. Fred Hodgson has the ball on the halfway line there, looking for some water for the sand to try and keep the sand a little bit firm there so that the ball doesn't fall off the mound. And everything is in readiness for this game between the Eels and the Raiders. The Raiders defending the southern end of the ground will be running right to left on your screen. And let's see how the Eels hit back after right, that loss last week to it. Auckland. Brett Hodgson gets the signal from Sean Hampstead. And we're underway at Parramatta Stadium. And straight away, Todd Payton returns the football. And swarming defence there from the Eels, led by Brad Drew. And also Captain Michael Vella. Nathan Kayla stayed in the game on the bench. Vella had the honour of leading the side out. Now Wolford, tongue spinning around. Michael Vella in there once again, warned there by Sean Hampstead to let him play the ball. Solid run once again from Todd Payton. He and Ryan O'Hara were outstanding in that gutsy win over the Roosters. They need to step up again today. Jamie Lyon was in doubt for the game, but out there playing. See that right groin strapped there. Jason Moody. He's nine short of the halfway line. Parramatta's into the field. The Raiders pointing in defence as they've done in the last few weeks. Tung now making the tackle. Just a metre or two short of halfway. All thought to be forward to Jason Kalis. The referee said no. The yell came from the Raiders. Now here's Hindmarsh. It's Ian. Looked to offload back on the inside. No support, so he took the tackle. Here's the last for the Eels. Jason Taylor puts it high in the air. Crossfield kick. Here's pressure. And they've done well, the Raiders. Jason Moody is very good at trying to outleap players in Adel Manuel. It was solid. Quinn Shafowski returning to Parramatta Stadium. Two of the best goal kickers in the game on show today. Taylor, that was forward. The referee got the call. Canberra have turned it over in a dangerous position on the field. Well, there's no excuse for that. That's really sort of B-grade stuff again. On the second tackle. It gives the Eels the opportunity now, 20, minute, 20, 20 metres out from the Raiders line. Hodson now, stepping, weaving, away from Shifosky, coming back to war towards where the scrum was packed down. Offloads there to Ian Einmarsh. He straight had that arm free again. And they had numbers there, the Eels. And he took the tackle. Now Drew, here's Taylor. Ryan into a gap, but Taylor kept the ball himself. Nine metres out from the line. They go left again, Drew. Can't get the arms free. Ryan was there and goes into acting half. Two metres out from the line. Taylor cuts out Vela, goes to Butner. He cuts out Hodson, finds Lyon, runs straight at the defence. The tackle was made by Monaghan. Dummy from Hodson, too easy. Scott Donald will score the try. Well, Brett Hodson went left originally, and so did the entire Canberra defensive line. And Scott Donald had an easy run. And so early in the game, fourth minute of this game against the Raiders, Brett Hodson doing some great stuff there, going to the right side of the field, getting the numbers there. It's Jason Taylor, 898 career goals, 
Needs 25 to break the record. Just to the right of the uprights. Looked like it was going to come around, but didn't. We've got five minutes here at Parramatta Stadium. And it's the Eels for the Raiders nil. Terrible start for the Raiders. How often do you see a side that drops the ball within their own half, particularly the 30 metres up in their own line, and you give it to a quality side like the Parramatta Eels, and they can nail you and punish you, and that's exactly what they've done here in the fourth minute of the game by scoring that try. Here's Jamie Lyon. He's now tackled, 15 out from his own line. Taking up there, Jason Kalis. Michael Vella over the 30 metre line. Good strong run. Drew from acting half. Still running Drew. What a buy he's been for the Eels this year. He gets to the halfway line. And some very serious danger signs here for the Raiders. And Anthony Kalella in back play is struggling. Taylor now. Last tackle. Drew comes the blind side. Kicks down towards Shifosky. Bounces nicely in the end. But look at that wall of defence there for the Eels. All in a straight line, and the whole team was chasing. And Mark, you talked about the defence there. The Eels have the best defence in the NRL competition. Only 47 drives scored against them in this competition. They also have the most scored, uh, points scored, 534 uh, four, and only 294 against. They really are playing some great quality rugby league. And the defence really has been their platform for the success in this competition in 2001. Colella recovered there from the knock. Good strong run there right to the halfway line. Wolford has the pass back there to Finch and kicks the ball downfield. Straight down the throat of the try scorer, Scott Donald. Wolford, danger there. As soon as a player puts that hand between the legs, you've got to worry. He has been in trouble for that before, Simon Wolford. Andrew Ryan from acting half. Nine short of the halfway line. Parramatta's into the field. Solid start here from the Eels. As they drive forward again. Five metres into Canberra territory. Vialecki plays it. Drew now again from acting half. Back to Ryan. He's carving him up early. Brad Drew They're letting him run. Here's the last tackle to Taylor. Kick for the corner. Shifosky covers it well. But there's that wall of defence. He's running across field. He can't get through there. I better straighten. And Mark, wouldn't he like to have a great game against his former club, um, the Eels? Because uh, Clint Shivosky, nice shot there. It is. It's Ian Hindmarsh. Just keep him down, says the referee. Just threw the arm out. Nothing much in it, but worth a penalty for sure. Just on uh, Clinton Shivosky, uh, here's the high shot. It was round, doesn't need to be reported on, upon, but worth a penalty. And it brings the, the Raiders out 30 minutes from their own line. But Sikorsky would be keen to have a, a great game against the Eels. He played, he played uh, winger, he played fullback, and his favourite position is fullback. That's where he is for the Raiders. I'm sure he'd be keen to have a good one against his former team. Ten short of halfway, the Raiders now. He's slow to his feet to play the ball there, Todd Payton. Now Monaghan with a solid ball. That was an equally solid tackle on the far side of the field on Wolfgram. Kalella over the halfway line. They've barely been into Parramatta territory. The Raiders, Wolford with the kick. It's not a bad one. Hodson goes back. Will it hit the corner post? Go touching goal. It does. Only just great patience, confidence and poise from Brett Hodson. Yeah, that's a sign of a classy fullback there. He's just waiting. You can see the Raiders coming closer. It does just touch the line. And of course, they're now the Eels. Here's from the restart. They've gone for the kick for touch, trying to get a loosened feed. It doesn't come. And the Raiders have picked it up. They've tried that on the odd occasion. The Eels, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And Jamalo Lisi's hurt in this tackle. Doesn't look too well there. And a shock tactic there by the Eels, wanting to kick the ball uh, yeah. after the 20 metre start but he goes down got back get it fixed up. I thought he was thought he was injured in the tackle but it looks like he, he was hurt before, before he got there he slip he slips right well by the whistle you're on your first take a while by the whistle you're right fix up 
Well, I can't really see what, what, right. what is wrong there, but obviously Fine. there is Jamal. Fine. 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 Just seemed to miss his yeah, gate there, didn't on. he, Steve, in, in that run. And stumbles as he comes from the field, that left leg, the problem. As if they haven't had enough injury worries, the Canberra Raiders. Jamal Lolisi now, on, off Brad on. Kelly on. Backward, on now they've turned the football over via Lecky. Comes to the halfway line off. before being met by Here the defence. Too slow. You're holding him, don't do it, right? I, I didn't I didn't think you were. I didn't think Yeah, okay. The warning from Sean Hampstead. He found touch there, the Eels. Brad Drew now takes the tap. Ryan now with Taylor. Butner. Turns it inside the line. Butner upended him back play without the ball. By Monaghan. The crowd didn't like it. I wonder what the touch judge he'll, thought he'll, and whether he'll come he'll, in. He'll, come on, come on. And here comes Drew yeah. from acting half. Ryan Vella straight in the he'll attack. Had a Hodgson on his outside. Camera. Took the tackle. They're five metres out from the line. Ryan, here's Taylor. Back on the inside. Kalis, Jason. And he's only three metres out. Drew goes to acting half. Taylor. Violecki goes for the line. The defence is solid on this occasion. Manuel there making one of the tackles. Now Taylor, crossfield bomb. Underneath it, Wolf Graham. Donald's there in goal. That'll be a 20 metre restart. That was a great bomb by Jason Taylor. And equally a good take by the Raiders. But again, the Raiders put themselves under pressure, dropping the ball, a penalty against them, and they find themselves on their own line. They've got to hold the ball. But a great. Great ball there by Jason Taylor, nice and high, Milton high enough for now. the Eels to compete for it, but equally a great take by Wolf Graham. Kalela now, right on the halfway line, the Raiders. Behind me, Brad, behind. Make your behind me. On. Barely seen any football in the Parramatta end of the field now. Wolford from acting half. 64% possession rate for the Eels, and they've dominated field position also. Almost through the gap, Terry Martin. He lost it, he has on the far side, and Violecki's come up with it. And well, they just keep making mistake after mistake. There's now the Eels on the halfway line. Vela, 10 metres into Canberra Territory. It's Jason Kalis. He's about 35 metres out. Pretty slow play the ball. Drew from acting half. Hodson up in the line. That finds Nathan Hindmarsh. Ball around the back. Magnificently to Violecki. Now to Moody. He's still going. On the ground. Drew's there. Jason Taylor. He links up with Butner. Here's a chance for the Eels. The kick. Wolfram's back there and knocks it dead. And I wonder what would have happened if he kept the ball in hand there, Michael Butner. Time off. Where is he? Where's he off, is he? looking for something here. What's his first name? Michael, Michael! This could Just be the tackle. a little bit late, that tackle. Just watch, watch you drive me out down here, right? I played at the bench this morning. Anyway. Well, I've got to agree with you, Mark. I thought that Butner did probably kick that ball a little bit um, prematurely, but I've got to say a great offload ball right, there the by Nathan Hindmarsh. That started that movement. Terrific kicks it. attacking passage of play by the Eels. Wobbly old drop kick. Hodgson's there. Links up with Jason Kalis. He's 25 oh, yeah, metres out. And here we mate. see it. Alan, Alan. There was that tackle from Monaghan. The referee was speaking about on Michael Butner. Yes. It's a dangerous position to end up. Wasn't nice, was it? Kalis now. Driving towards the 10 metre line. They've looked dangerous here, the Eels, for the last five minutes or so, but Canberra just holding on, only just. Here's Butner. Cuts out Hindmarsh via Lecky. And he's inside, does offload. Nathan Hindmarsh gets the bounce. Standing, looking around, running across field. Still running across field. There's Hodson. Now Lyon. They must score. Jamie Lyon. Well, they watched Nathan Hindmarsh run 50 metres across field and no one wanted to tackle him and they've paid the ultimate price. It's the Eels 8, the Raiders nil. Well, a great try there by the Parramatta Eels. You cannot 
allow a classy side like the Eels to offload the ball, second phase play. And it was Nathan Heimarsh that basically was the architect of that try. It goes from the right side of the field. Vela, Jason Taylor, a number of hands. Butner also had a, a hand in it. And then the ball comes back. Now, the, the Raiders just can't stop the ball carry. And here he is. He's just playing with it at the moment. Finally gets the ball to Brett Hodgson. And no one else to beat there but Jamie Lyon. Keeping the ball alive. Jason Taylor now needs two goals for 900 in his career. A new benchmark being set every week by this player. Goal. And there it is. Goal number 899 for Jason Taylor. Might have to go to the blood bin shortly, but it's the Eels 10, the Raiders nil. Jason Taylor having to go to the blood bin. Won't take long to clean it up. It was only a little nick up. under the eye. He could have been clever and just wiped it all on, on his jersey. And then they would have got told, away with it. Then they would have told him to replace the jumper. Don't want I don't think he even knew he was out bleeding. It was just a little nick. Here's the change for the Raiders. Nahara's off. He'll Scott Donald. Donald. He'll let him go. Well, I don't think we get right, rugby league players on, saying, Jason, oh, you're bleeding a bit. Are you okay? <laughs> I think they're used to it. Michael Vella, 12 short of halfway. Here's Drew Hodson. Great ball, Butner. Full back to beat. He's got plenty of pace, Butner, but so is to Shabosky. Back to line, he's got a double. They've scored from the kick off the Eels. That was sensational stuff. And Michael Butner finishes off with a great ball to Jamie Lyon, who scored his second try in two minutes. Well, they're hot. They can run the ball, they can back up, they can support. And here we see Drew darting up from dummy half again. Hodgson, an offload ball to Butner. Only one way to run, that's straight. Now we can see inside him two players to choose from. And cleverly, Jamie Lyon tricks Cliff Shabosky and scores the try. We'll see the two players supporting Butner here. He chooses to give it to Jamie Lyon. He steps the other way, confuses Shabosky and scores the try. What is a great Parramatta team try. Jason Taylor now with the conversion attempt as Jamie Lyon comes back to halfway. There's the Canberra Raiders. Someone better introduce him to the football. I haven't seen it. There's Taylor with possibly his 900th goal. New territory. No one has been there. Another feather in the cap in an outstanding career. Study of concentration. He strikes it and he hasn't kicked it. So we have to wait a little bit longer. One from three for Jason this afternoon. That's not his usual fare. 14-0 the Eels over the Raiders. Sorry, Mark. It's a long time since, since I've seen stats like that. Jason Taylor, one from three. It's usually two from three or three from three. But, Mark, you and I were at the game last night between the Panthers and the Sharks. And the, same, the same story is happening all over again. The weaknesses for the Raiders is their attack. But they can't hold on to the ball. And they're giving a quality side like Eels a lion's share of possession. And, of course, with that, the Eels are absolutely nailing the Raiders with tries. They've got the football again, the Eels. Michael Vella, they just can't put him to ground today. He's been outstanding. He's injured in that tackle, though. He's running back into position. 28 metres out from the line. Here comes Nathan Kalis, about to come into the action. Almost got the arm free. Hodson was flying. Here's Taylor. With the kick, looking for a 40-20. Will it get over? It does. 40-20, Jason Taylor. Clinton Schifowski really had no chance. The ball was a wicked bounce. And it just made it over the 20-metre line. Well, what a great kick by the number seven for the Eels. And hasn't he found a great home with the Eels? There's Jason Taylor. Basically nowhere to go last season. Brian Smith... A clever coach that he is, but we could use you, and he's just fitted in so well with the Eels.
They'll go in here again, Parramatta. Canberra just can't keep tackling. They've had no ball whatsoever. 11 metres out from the line. It's the Eels again. Centre field, Drew. Nathan Kalis on the field. He drives to within five metres of the goal line. Drew at acting half. Here's Andrew Ryan. There's a good tackle from Ryan O'Hara. Drew. Vela back on the inside. Can he get the ball down? He does. They tried hard but couldn't keep him up. And Michael Vela has scored the try. And the Eels have made it 18 points to nil after 20 minutes. There's always that saying, a good big man will always be the good little man's size. Got Michael Vela over the line here. Brad Drew, he's been involved in pretty well all the tries. That There he is, pushing, he goes down low. Does he get the ball in line? For mine, I thought it might have been a little bit short, Mark, but probably this angle will tell us, but Brad Drew again turns the ball back in. He's the biggest out of those three Canberra Raider defenders there. He gets the ball down, but Sean Hempstead was there on the spot, so I can't dispute his decision to give Michael Vella a try. And the Eels, yet again, stretch their lead. Oh, see, that was short for mine. I know it's a try, I know they're giving four points, but I thought it might, might have been just a little bit shy of that white chalk, Mark Braybrook. Here is goal number 900, surely, for Jason Taylor. Straight over the black dot. Career goal 900 for Jason Taylor. And the Parramatta Eels have edged further in front, 20 points to nil. They had 20 minutes of play. And it could be a long afternoon for the Canberra Raiders. Here's Michael Vella. It's almost deja vu for the Raiders last year. Here at Parramatta, they got beaten 48 to 10. And I think it was 32 nil at half time. The game was well and truly over then. And at the moment, the only time they're seeing the football is when Tom Shavosky kicks off. Well, what the Raiders have to do here, Mark, is just get a good defensive set of six, get the ball back and hold on to the ball for a set of six with a good kick down the other end. But at the moment, they can't seem to hold the big power and might of the Eels. And the possession says everything, 75%. You've got the ball, you can do things. And the Eels have been given the ball a lot of times because of the Raiders' mistakes. There's Drew, back on the inside. Nathan Hindmarsh went backwards. Now Vela. Here's the last tackle. Quick play the ball. Drew in there again. Here's a chance. Kicked it on the ground from Ian Hindmarsh. Well done by Tung. Wrapping it up 21 out from his own line. Now they see the football. They've got to hang on to it. Jason Cut. Excuse me, Jason Kalis. Looks like he may have got the whack to the nose. 11 metres short of the halfway line. The Raiders need to complete a set of six here and get the ball down the other end. Terry Martin. He's about three metres short of the halfway line. Wolford. Back there to Shifovsky. There's nowhere for him to go. Well, the kick comes downfield from Monaghan. Hodson well taken running back over his shoulder. He's a class player. Dumbing the Moody side almost away. Links up with Bialecki though. Here comes the chase. Shiboski across. He makes the tackle. Andrew Ryan. This is Jason Taylor. They're there in numbers, the Raiders. The kick. Scott Donald's going to win the race. He's going to score a sensational try. What about the thinking from Jason Taylor that Fred Hodgson started it back on his own goal line. That is sensational rugby league. Well, you won't get a better try in rugby league than that. From one end of the field to the other, almost every player, Jason Taylor, Fred Hodgson was the man, the key man for mine in that as well. But great support play by the Eels, they are hot. And someone better tell Jason Taylor to get that little bit of blood off his cheek again. But it comes from this kick, not a bad kick by Brett Finch. And Brett Hodgson goes to the left hand side of the field, pre poor defence there by the Raiders. And it's just a matter of going through the hands now. Brings the ball back in. Andrew Ryan, Jason Taylor is able to keep the ball alive. And cleverly does a little grubber for Scott Donald. And he just pounces on it. That is a fantastic rugby league try. Congratulations, Bill. Outstanding. That was outstanding rugby league. Brett Hodgson started it. 
from Jason Taylor. Knew he didn't have the pace, couldn't get the pass away. Put the ball on the toe and Scott Donald is backing up superbly. Here's Taylor. He needs 25 points today to break Daryl Halligan's record. And he edges two points closer. He now needs 19. It's 26 nil. The Eels over the Raiders. So bring it back again. And this is going to be a long afternoon if they don't get their house in order. The canvas side. Well, the way the Eels are playing. Jason Taylor's going to get every opportunity to get those 25 points. They are hot with the ball at the moment. Sofowski with the restart. Drives it between the posts. Taken there by Hodson. Taylor's lifted up. Driven into ground. That's Nathan. Now Hodson. Easy meters there from acting hard. 28 metres out from his own line. Drew. L3. Come on, Carey. Hi, we've got Mel Meninga. Matty Ella to his left. And they are not happy. Nor would they be. Anyone be. 26 nil down after 26 on, minutes. Darren Matt coming on. He's loading his feet to play it on the far side of the field. <laughs> Moody now playing it. Here's the last tackle. Drew to Taylor. And going to run it again. Butner now with the kick. Bounces nicely this time for Wolf Graham. And so the Raiders. Here's a late tackle on Butner. Touch Judge Cooley from the far sides in. The Raiders just can't get the football. 19. 19. Brad Kelly, 19. 19. He's on his way out now. I don't know if he deserved the penalty. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, what he said, the penalty's going against him. They just don't need that. The Canberra Raiders, Parramatta on the last tackle, kick the ball away, and they give away a penalty. Here it is. Well, it was a bit late, but that does yeah, deserve the linesman coming in. I, I'm sorry, Mark, I just think that um, it was a little bit late. But... Vella, five out from the line. Now it comes to Lyon. Lyon looking for a hat trick in the first half, so is this man, Donald. Two metres out. Here's Hodson. Inside to Kalis. Step lead off, there. Five metres out. Drew. Andrew Ryan. Now Taylor. Butner. Quick hands via Lecky. That's gone forward to Moody. And so the referee pulls it back. It'll be a scrum. And the Raiders can breathe a sigh of relief. And get some football. Possession's nearly up to 80%. The Raiders, 11 missed tackles. The Eels have managed to miss oh, one you, when the Raiders have had the football. Yeah, yeah. That's probably been for 10% of, of this game. The Raiders got the football, but they've got to do something with the ball too. The Eels are definitely winning the play the ball area at the moment. They're slowing the play the ball up, and the defence is set, and the Eels, uh, the Raiders just can't penetrate that rock defence around the play the ball area. There's the Eels, five oh, line breaks in the game. Let him up there, let him up here, the Raiders just haven't had the ball to get anywhere near making a line break, and they look like they've got another injury. 33 up in their own line, Canberra. Darren Porter's in trouble in back play. And look at the offloads there. Eels nine, Raiders one. And a lot of those offloads are being attributed to the back rowers of this Eels team. All multi-talented, great defensive players, but also great attacking players as well. As the ball will go dead, and the Eels now will bring it 20 metres out with a tap from their own line. Wait, wait, wait. Right, are you ready? Now Drew with the restart. Jason Moody coming in. He wants some of the action. As the winger and centre on this side of the field have scored four tries between them. Nine short of the halfway line. Hohenmarsh plays it. This is Ryan over halfway. 
Arms free, Vian Leckie just a little bit late and he took the tackle. Michaelis cut out to Taylor. Here's Hodson. Hasn't he been busy? There's that pass out the back to Solomona. Now back to Butner. Taylor now. He was standing around. Who wants it? Hindmarsh. Wrapped up straight away. There was Ryan. 25 metres out. Drew, the blind side. Flicks it out the back. Went back. Kalis. Now Hodson. That didn't go back. Hindmarsh. Nathan has knocked it on. And the Raiders come up with possession. That's about the first mistake, I think. Apart from the forward pass out the other side that the Parramatta side has made in about 15 minutes of football. But again, also, Raiders three, the Eels two errors. And for the sheer amount of position they've had, that's not a bad stat. But again, the Raiders are finding it hard to put the Eels players to the ground. Instead, the Eels players are offloading the ball and creating second phase play, which gives you more attacking opportunities. Over the halfway line. Yep, well, and now tackle. A couple of metres into Parramatta territory. This is new ground here for the Raiders with the football in their hands. Finch turns it inside to Payton. Nine metres into Eels territory. Last tackle and Wolf, it's gone without it. Changeover. And he's kicked the ball away and will be penalised. No, he's not. Sean Hampstead. A little bit of sympathy there for Simon Wolford. Tis your harsh man, Mark. Well, the real stage you've got to put the ball well, down. I'm just saying that <laughs> the letter of the law, he could have been penalised. He could have told him just go and get the ball. Don't be silly. Held On the halfway held line, by, uh, Solomono. Very slow to disentangle himself from Terry Martin. He and Hindmar saw a gap, accelerated, but the feet wouldn't go with him. Now Taylor. Vialecki through the tackle of Famuana, taken there by Manuel, 29 metres out from the line. Taylor now. Hodson back on the inside. Ian Hindmarsh. David Solomona just offloading there. He was expecting him to run. Now Nathan Kalis. Right in centre field. Last tackle. They go right. Drew with the kick. Pressure for Wolf Graham. Donald's knocked it back. Play on, and Kelly comes across, and he may have picked up a knock there. Now he gets to his feet. Well, that was clever work by the Eels, tucking that ball back in. Because the Raiders come up with the ball. The ball has gone to the ground again. Has gone backwards, so the Raiders can keep the ball. Very important for them to get out of their own half now with a, a good set of six and quick play of the ball. A little bit wide here. There's an almost impossible ball being tried to pass there by Darren Mapp. He's just turned possession over to the Eels, and they've tried to score from the first tackle. Jason Moody couldn't pick it up. Who was that man? It was Nathan Hindmarsh. I don't think Brian Smith would be too pleased with that. Well, Moody catches that ball, they'll probably score again. But well, I just can't believe the amount of the yep. errors in possession that the Raiders yep. are making. 26 points down, eight minutes to go for half time. And they still can't get a proper set of six together. They do have the football now. Hell 22 one, metres left in their own line. There is more concern as we have another penalty. Parramatta inside the 10. Quick kick for touch. Finds it. Touch, touch, fellas, 10 touch, metres touch. into Parramatta territory. That player receiving treatment was Brad Kelly. No one ends up now. Come behind me, Parramatta. Come on. Now they have the ball. Cut out ball over the head, Wolf Graham. And now he's tackled. In fact, it was Darren Porter, not Kelly, that was re receiving treatment. Now almost through, dragging players. Matt fell awkwardly. It's 10 metres out from the line. They go right. Finch stepping. Can they get across the line here? Chifosky straightens, goes for the line. Can he get it down? No. Forced back in the tackle by Hodson and Solomona. Now they've got numbers here. Kelly, he's tackled. Defence read it well and covered up. Butner, last tackle. Monaghan, ordinary kick has gone backwards. Famuana under pressure from Violecki has lost it. It'll be zero tackle. Well, they held, held it for a set of six there, but the execution at the end of it left a lot to be desired. I can see Brett Finch putting the ball up, but it was a shocker of a kick. 
and it put the Raiders even under pressure. And now again, the Eels are capitalising on the Raiders' mistakes. The pass has been knocked down, and they've got the ball back here, the Canberra Raiders. Luckily, Finch was able to get his hand to it because Violecki was away down that far touchline. 32 metres out now, the Raiders from the Parramatta line. Six out from half time, 26 0 as Manuel plays it. Terry Martin is tackled, smashed in the defence. They converge on him. Butner there. Wolford from acting half. Here's some space. He offloads there for Todd Payton. Where's the support? Chifovsky came, but Payton had his arms wrapped up. Only two metres out. This is better from the Raiders. Chifovsky around in circles. Up very quickly, the Eels' defence. This is the last tackle. Cuts out Kelly. Monaghan on the outside to Wolfgang. Did he get it down? Unlikely. They're going to the video referee. Yeah, we just had the granny. I'm pretty certain he dropped it. Does he get the ball down? No, he doesn't. It hits the back of Scott Donald. I also think he does hit the post as well. But Michael Stone, the video referee this afternoon. There's no doubt in my mind that he's lost that football. So it should be a 20-metre restart for the Parramatta side. You've got to give Scott Donald a rap too, the rookie. Winger, he did very, very well there. He was a big man. They had their chances there at the Canberra side. That was a try for all money. Should be no try here. It is no try. 20 metre restart. And so back they go, the Canberra Raiders, into their defensive positions again. Wolf Graham, good tackle as Steve mentioned from Scott Donald. Ready, ready, ready. As I was saying, he's a very big man, Wolf Graham, so it was a, a good tackle, show all the strength. And of course saved the Eels line and of course Canberra still yet to score. Drew from acting half to Ryan. Just got off the ball a little bit of late, the Eels. Just before half time. Inside the final five minutes, Solomona. Solid defence there in the middle of that from the Raiders. And Darren Mapp in there. And Terry Martin. Now Drew, Kalis. It's the ball there to Ian Hindmarsh. Takes it over the halfway line. Now back to Nathan Kalis. He accelerates straight up the middle. Wilford there to meet him with tongue. Now last tackle. Drew kicks. Schifowski back there into his in goal. Did he knock that on? He's in goal anyway, is he? Yes. I thought there might have been a knock on there anyway, Steve. Yes, there could have been. Kutsovsky trying to get over that try line there, but a great kick there by Brad Drew. He's had a wonderful game darting it from dummy half. He knocks the ball back, but equally great defence there by the Parramatta Eels. The ball goes back, so it is knocked back. And then Jamie Lyon goes in low, as does Sifoski. And a kick is only as good as its chase. And the Eels, both Donald and Lyon, can take a bow. Sifoski with the restart. Here's Nathan Kalis on the charge back. Good offload to Taylor. Now Ryan. Well picked up. Moody on the far side. Back to Ryan. He's tackled on the 20 metre line. Can they score before the half time interval? They're only five metres out through Nathan Hindmarsh. Now Solomona juggling. Taylor's there. He's still going, Solomona. And his arms wrapped up by Terry Martin. Five out, Drew. Now Taylor. Good ball, Ryan. Violecki, quick hands, high mark. Moody in the corner. Chifosky thought it was forward. The referee doesn't think so and is going to warp the try. The hands were too quick. And Jason Moody joins the party. This time they've scored on the left-hand side. 30 points to nil. Well, Jason Moody can smile now. Everyone else has been on the action except for Jason Moody. He's got his chance to score the try now. He did that very well. But again, great hands. Taylor again offloading the ball. Good hands too there by Nathan Hindmarsh finding Moody. 
Yeah, Jason Taylor, a very it, difficult conversion. Edge is so close up again for those 25 yeah. points. He needs 19 more points. I'll back him in on this one, Mark. The way he's looking at the ball. He does that every kick. Here it goes. It's on its way. It's on its way. And it's there. Well, must have been a different look, Steve Mortimer, because you've nailed it, as did Jason Taylor. 32 points to nil. And we've got just over a minute until the halftime break. And Jason Taylor is now within 17. And that's a great kick by the number seven. Had a terrific year in the year 2001. And he steps a little bit closer to being the highest point scorer in the game of rugby league. I mentioned this game last year. The Canberra Raiders medical staff has been working overtime this year. I mentioned last year, this time last year, the game, the halftime score was, I thought it was 32 0, but it was 30 0. Parramatta led the Canberra Raiders. Final score was 48 10. Half-time score was 30 points to nil, so we're just on par for that again. Just don't like coming to Parramatta of late. The Raiders drew from Ackling Half. It's not over yet. By a lucky now, the score will he know? Here's Hudson. He deserves the try. Donald's looking for the hat trick. Back to by a lucky. Well, they have butchered it. They have absolutely slaughtered that one. But four marks to Clinton Chivoski because he went a long way to helping them. Well, half-time Soren about to go as the Raiders could have been looking at 38 nil at half-time. But at half-time here at the Parramatta Stadium, it's been an amazing game of rugby league. The Eels have been on fire, the Raiders are struggling. Half-time at Parramatta, it's the Eels 32, the Raiders nil. Tell the story of the first half. Well, they certainly do. 69% for the Eels, 31% for the Raiders. They've dropped a lot of ball. They really rarely have put a set of six together. And when they have done that, they've had some poor options or, or executing at the end of the six. But in their own half, it's been all down the Raiders area. And the Eels are just playing some terrific football, controlling the ball very, very well. And they're also giving Jason Taylor that opportunity to become the highest point scorer in the game. But the completion rates there, Mark, 17 for 23. Not too bad. They did make a couple of sloppy mistakes there towards the end of that first half. 8 for 15. That's basically 50% possession rate. That's pretty poor. Line breaks. It goes to heels. All the accolades. Offload, 17 to 3. That's unbelievable. Missed tackles, 14 to the Raiders, only 3 to the Eels. Underway for... The second half, and Solomona has the first touch of the football. Come on, the Eels are the southern end of the ground. Beautiful afternoon in Sydney. Quite mild, more like a spring day. Not if you support Canberra, it's not. Here's Hindmarsh. Nathan takes it over the 30 metre line. Test of character here for the Raiders. McFadden's on the field, misses that tackle. And they're trying peg their way back and get a respectable scoreline and not make it a real blowout. Taylor now with a kick for touch. Goes towards that touch line. It's not a 40-20. I don't think Greg Wolfgram knew it and kept it in the field of play. He took the odds thinking, well, it may be, maybe not, but I better make sure of it. Well, that's, that's right. He would have been better to let the ball go out and um, they would have had the scrum. And their first tackle would have been a little bit further down the field. Very important though, right now, early in the second half, the Raiders hold on to this ball. As we see Andrew McFadden darting from dummy half, we need a little bit more of that from the Raiders' point of view. And there's the penalty. He's taken it very quickly there, Brett Finch. And only just finding touch. It was a very good kick. And now here's an opportunity. Trying to catch the Parramatta side offside. And Finch is going to score a try. Well, there's a very good individual try. 
sort of like the hurry up offense in American football. Quick kick, quick tap, quick try. 32 to 4. And we profiled this player at the start of the game, and we need to see a lot more of the Brent Fitches of the world. Quick tap there, catching the, the Parramatta Eels basically offside. Hampstead saying, stay away from him. He palms off Brad Drew, scores the try. Right in front for Clinton Chifovsky. Outstanding here once again with the boot and in general play for the former crusher and former eel. Should have little trouble. There's an encouraging start to the second half for the Canberra Raiders. They're on the scoreboard at last, but the Parramatta Eels still lead quite comfortably. 32 points to six. We've had three minutes in this second half. Body kicks it, fellas. They'll get play underway. Getting plenty of elevation there. Taken there by Peyton. Runs Mark, at Vela. Mark, I don't know if you know, but the, the go these days, the kicking off at halfway, is to kick the ball nice and high, similar to what the American football do, and getting the ball up high so the troops can go down the field and tackle them in a good territorial position. Now Kalela. Let him go now, let him go. Don't achieved the aim there, Luke Burt. Getting plenty of height. Now McFadden with the kick. He's looking for a 40 20. It won't go near touch, and Hodson has it well covered. But Moody with him. Good chase there from the Raiders. Good kick, good chase. They've started the second half much better than the first. Now Moody. It's the 30 metre line he'll play the ball on. Bert from acting half. Let him go, let him go. Come on, Goes Ian Hine marsh with the ball on the outside. Butner was Henry almost Henry through. Henry now Drew, Solomona, offloads to Taylor. Last, no tackle by McFadden. 15 into Raiders territory. Last tackle. Drew with a little chip. Chifosky wasn't there, but luckily Monaghan was. He snatched it out just in front of Brad Drew. Probably wasn't the, the best kick by Brad Drew, but he really has caused a lot of worry from the dummy half area. Darting out from dummy half, running the ball, or setting up a two-on-one, or even a, a little play like that. But pretty creative stuff there by Brad Drew, who really has found a great home from Penrith here at Parramatta. Terry Martin now, back on the inside. About a metre short of the halfway line. Wolford, now McFadden. Go wide, Monaghan. With the ball is Darren Mapp. Last tackle, Monaghan. Quick hands, Kelly. Little grubber kick. The bounce should be good. It is. Kalella in support. Kalella pushes away from high marsh and scores the try. The Raiders are in again. 32 points to 10 with a kick to come. It's been a sensational start to the second half for Canberra. Well, they've scored the second try. In the second half, Brian Smith won't be happy, but Mal Meninga certainly will, and Matt Elliott. Nice little initiative there by Brett Finch, going to the left-hand side of the field there. A great support play, too, by the Raiders. Clinton Chivoski has this conversion attempt from around 15 metres out, 10 metres to the left of the uprights. with the form that he has shown with the boot this year one would suggest it would be a lay down was there stranger things have happened straight between the post little trouble for clinton and so it's now 32 points to 12 the heels over the raiders for the Parramatta side has been Duckworth making his debut as the Canberra Raiders have been forced back from that kick to an inside their own 10 and they're 10 metres out now from the line Finch now Peyton 15 metres out from the line Wolford Kalela he's 25 metres out 
Wolford goes into acting half. Now it comes back to McFadden. By Duckworth. Bounces away from him. Shafosky now. Todd Payton. Just to push away from Nathan Hindmarsh, but grabbed by the arm. Here's the last tackle. Wolford at acting half. Now it comes back to McFadden with the kick. Now it goes back to Donald, and he's hitting a solid tackle. That's David Violecki. Very important mark here for the Raiders. Put a good defensive set of six in here. They've scored the first two tries in the second half, bringing themselves back into this game. But they've got to back that up with a solid defensive performance so they can get the ball back in quality field position. Solomona now to the halfway line, over it by about a metre or two. Still going, David Solomona. Finally tackled by Wolford, who'll give the penalty away. Work both ways, work both ways, work both ways. Well, I've got to say, I think that he could have got up and played that ball anyway. But nevertheless, it's a penalty for the Eels on things. They're back into the game. They've got the ball 20 metres out. What can they do with it? Duckworth now. On the field for the first time this season for Parramatta. Hodson has the short side. Nathan Hindmarsh. Finch, he's lost the ball. Now Adele Manuel. 21 metres out from his own line. Brett Finch holds his head in back play. Now Clinton Shafowski. McFadden inside to Terry Martin. Straight through the tackle of Andrew Ryan. Nathan Hindmarsh comes from behind. Worrying signs here for the Eels as Hindmarsh uses his leg as a springboard. Now Wolford with a little chip. Nobody back there. Where's the cover line? Comes across, holding the ball in one hand, and had a Hodson on his inside. Now Hindmarsh again. Middle short of the halfway line. Making some inroads, the Canberra Raiders. Yeah, sometimes when you're 30 points in front, and the coach says you've got to focus now, sometimes the players think, well, geez, we are comfortably in front. Penalty to Parramatta. Uh, giving away too many penalties yeah. here, the Raiders. Wouldn't be surprised if they, they go for goal. No, they're going to kick for touch. I think they can okay. score. Settle things down. That's why I thought they might go for goal. Solomona. Now it's Vela. It's the ball from Ryan. Almost through the other side. Duckworth is Taylor. Back towards the centre of the ruck and finds Duckworth. Nine metres out from the line. The Eels on the attack. Solomona. Martin there to meet him. Wrap him up. He bounces away. Shifosky has to make the tackle. Duckworth. Taylor. Now to Butner accelerates. He's about five metres out. Vela to Taylor. Taylor stepping. Can he get the ball over? No. He's only a metre out. Shifosky made the tackle. Last. Duckworth with a kick towards the end goal. McFadden watches it go dead. He did well. I thought they were going to get another set there, the Eels. They get a 20 metre restart. Well, that was great defence by the Canberra Raiders. They've lost the ball. The Eels have got the ball. They've got the ball back, but it'll be play on. But I was about to say, good work by McFadden. Reading that ball go over the in goal area, but it's all been nullified now. We've taken that ball from the tap, and now the Eels again in commanding great territory position. Oh. And launching their attack on, against on, the Raiders. Brett Finch, the man tackled there by smashed by Solomona. Here's Hindmarsh. And keeping it alive to Vela. Vela just pushing Peyton away. And he holds the shoulder. Now it comes to Taylor. Ryan's there. Back there to Taylor. Now to Luke Burt. Brett Finch in front of him, and Burt's only a metre out. Solomona at acting half. Will he try and barge over? No. Taylor. Hodson yawning gap. Ben Duckworth on debut for the Eels. Has scored the try. He won't score any easier than that. 
it just opened like Sydney heads and he strolled through. The Eels now 36 to 12. Well, that was bad positional play by the Raiders. And we see Taylor shoot the right hand side. Great work here by Hodson. But the Raiders lack of communication there by the Raiders in defence. And Hodson's able to put Scott Donald through. As it's got no Ben Duckworth, rather. Nice ball. But terrible communication and defence by the Raiders there. Absolute gap was as wide as the Sydney heads. And so the Eels are back. Scoring a great try. But again, I can't emphasise enough. Very poor defence there by the Canberra Raiders. Lack of communication, particularly out wide. He's had a tough year, Ben Duckworth, with injury when he joined Parramatta. There's Jason Taylor from right in front. Has little trouble in adding a further two points. So now the Eels lead by 38 points to 12. I wonder what impact that will have on the Canberra Raiders. Sean Hempstead had words with Simon Wolford after the try. He's to try and get him to calm down. Five goals to Jason Taylor, so he's 15 points away. Maybe a bit much for him today to expect him to score 25 points, even if the team has scored close to 40. There's a shortish kickoff into open space, but Butner read it well. He got back there and picked it up and will be tackled 29 out from his own line. Hein Marsh. That's Jason Kalis back on the field. Uh, Duckworth from acting half, hit Ice there. Come on, Cameron, come on. Referee said play on, Hodson, Taylor. Taylor throwing dummies, had the arm free, offloaded the ball there to Ian Hindmarsh. He gets the ball back to Donald. They're starting to keep the ball alive again, the Parramatta side. Now Vela, Taylor, comes to Ryan, straightening. Good tackle, Peyton over the top, last here. Kalis comes the blind side and is tackled by McFadden. That's the changeover. Just didn't seem to be aware of it there, Jason Kalis. As Vela and Duckworth come up very quickly. Well, so the Eels do this very well. They take some yardage up around that ruck area, then Jason Taylor with a wide pass. Points the big men, the back rowers. Either Ian Nathan, High Marsh, or Andrew Ryan standing out wide. And they penetrate the defence and make some good yards and it enhances their attack. Wolford at acting half. Terry Martin now. Solid defence in the middle of the right. Jason Kalis. And then with Nathan Hindmarsh. Now McFadden. It's off the side of the boot slightly. Is it out on the full? It is. And so that is going to be danger here for Canberra. It wasn't the last tackle, so it's going to be a scrum, but they're only 30 out the Eels. Get the loose and feed. Just taking a bit of a breather here. I'm trying, to see the re I'm trying to see the reason or the logic why he would kick the fourth tackle there, looking for a, maybe a 40-20. The ball went out and now gives the Eels a prime opportunity, 30 metres out, to force yet for another try. Luke Burt running across field. Links up with Ian Hindmarsh. Now Jamie Lyon looking for three. Was that a kick or did he lose it? Scott Donald may have got the hat-trick. He's in the corner. What's the referee going to do? He's going to go to the video referee. What we're looking for here is if Jamie Lyon dropped the ball or he kicked it. That's what I want to know. Yeah. I'm sure he kicked it. Oh, that was very talented to play. If he did kick it, which I'm sure he did. See was going to get tackled. Well, he did drop it, but he's put foot to it. What do you call that, a knock-on? No, that's a kick. A kick. That's a kick. He's kicked it. That's a try. Scott Donald's got a hat-trick. My thought is, though, he loses the ball here, so it really is the ball goes forward. Yes, it, it does come off his boot, Mark. That's fine. That's a kick. That's a kick. It hit the foot. If it hits his foot, that's a kick. And for mine, 
That's a try. If he hits, if it, if he can kick it with his foot before it hits the ground, unless of course it hits another player, well, and that's play it. on. He's do? kicked the ball. It hasn't hit the ground. It hasn't hit the ground. It's kicked. The, it hit his Simon. foot. Simon. It's only a well, knock on when it hits the ground. Player, another player yeah. or the goalpost, and it hasn't done any of that. So for mine, that's a try. Scott Donald's got himself a hat trick. As Luke Burt yeah, looks on. Sean Hampstead awaits the decision. Michael Stone, video referee. And for mine, it's a try. There it is, try. For Scott Donald. A hat trick for the number 18. He wasn't in the original 17. Today he's got himself a hat trick. You're in the wrong game, Mark. Mate. You should be out there with a whistle and pee in your hand. It certainly did come off the foot. I thought that perhaps they could have looked at it as a knock-on because it was the ball was lost forward. But nevertheless, it was great work by Jamie Lyon. Gets the foot to the ball. An equally great work too by Scott Donald. He's had a pretty good game for a rookie. 11th first grade game. And he's picked up a hat trick. Jason Taylor up from the far touchline on his favourite side. I'm going to back him out and back him in. I'm going to back him in again. Did you see the way he looked at that ball? He's got that successful look. Here it comes on its way. Oh, you're a genius, Steve Mortimer. Does it have the legs? It does. He's done it again, Steve Mortimer, and he's done it again, Jason Taylor. 44 to 12. The Eels over the Raiders at Parramatta Stadium. If I was the football, I'd be fretting the way he looks at you. He's quite into play. A great kick there. On the side of the field. That's 12 points. 13 to go for Jason Taylor. But just on that back to Jamie Lyon, that was great thinking to get his yeah. boot to the ball. It was not free. It was going to be a knock-on. If it hit the ground, another player, or the goalpost. That's when it's a knock-on. In that instance, it did none of those three. Simon Wolford's hurt in that tackle. Forearm, right forearm's hurt. He's in a bit of strife back in the defensive line. He's in a lot of pain. Now the Eels. On the charge again. Can they get to 50? Here's Hodson inside to Moody. Almost through. He's a passenger, Simon Wolford. He's in agony. Now Kalis. 30 metres out, last tackle, and there he is with that right arm, no feeling there at the moment, well, no feeling, well, I shouldn't say that, he's in agony, he just can't get feeling down to the hand, kick there from Ryan, and the Raiders come up with possession, he can't stay on in that much pain, Simon Wolford. 20 metres out from their line, the Raiders, his assistance comes out to see in the background there for Simon Wolford. Shifosky now. 28 out from his own line. And he's know. coming from the field as Monaghan goes wide. Sorry, Mark, I don't know if he'll be back. It looks pretty serious. Yeah. For Simon Wolford, he's a, he's a tough little customer as well. Alan Tung's going to be his replacement. I don't like to preempt things like that. That looks like a broken forearm to mine. Now the kick downfield. Bounces away from Scott Donald. Will he watch it go over a touch? Yes, he does. There he is. He's in agony. Just on that forearm, that right forearm. He went in to make a tackle and came reeling out. And as you say, Steve Mortimer, he's a tough character. He's battled all year with the shoulder problem. So he doesn't come off lightly. Just on the kick by the Raiders. Pretty clever stuff by Scott Donald let the ball go out. It gives the Eels a chance to get their breath back. And uh, had Donald had taken that ball, he would have been tackled down there and the Eels would have had to rush back quickly. What about the Canberra scrum? The second rowers weren't packing his second rowers, they're packing his breakaways in rugby. I mean, fair dinkum. I know, the, I know the scrums are a bit ordinary now, but that's that's really beyond the pile. And maybe they've been hanging around the Bumbies too much. Five metres short of the halfway line. Keep an eye on that next time they pack a scrum down. 
and see what the Raiders do when it's the Parramatta loose and feed. Hindmarsh, has he lost the ball? He has. He's come up with it. Terry Martin has come up with it for Canberra. That drew on for Andrew Ryan. How do you work that out? He's a hooker, and Andrew Ryan's a great big lot. He's had a pretty solid game too in the number 13 jersey. But Nathan Hindmarsh there, we've seen him drop the ball again. Uncharacteristic errors by Nathan Hindmarsh. He's dropped the ball twice now. And that's something you don't see too often from the number 12, the number 11. Famuana now showing the football. Almost offloaded back to McFadden. He's trying to play the ball. Jason Taylor holding on. Now McFadden running around in circles. Links up with Shufoski. He accelerates. Can't get away from Vela. 21 metres out. Shufoski slow to his feet. Now Famuana. Dummies to kick. Accelerates. Good offload. Back to Kalela. Grabbed by the jumper. Breaks free of the Vela tackle. And drives forward. Last tackle. McFadden. Left hand side. They go that way. Ball popped up in the big front rower. Ryan O'Hara is going to score the try. They had the numbers. The ball went popping in the air. The crowd thought it was forward. Referee said play on. And it's 44 to 16. Well, the Raiders jumping to 12 points in the second half. Here we see the ball goes to the left. McFadden, great hands. Monaghan offloads the ball. There's Ryan O'Hara. Why he's out there, I don't know why. The big prop. A good player, former Canary Junior from Newcastle originally. But a couple of nice big long passes. One from Dummy Half, one from McFadden. And O'Hara straightens up and scores the try and gives Clint Shavosky an easier opportunity to convert this try and turn it from four points into six. Brown thought that last pass was forward. May have come off the hand of Jamie Lyon, although Sean Hampstead didn't signal six to go. Ryan O'Hara, second try for the season. For the Canberra side. Clinton Shivovsky looking to try and make it three from three from adjacent to the uprights. 11 metres out. And has little trouble, so he has three from three. The Canberra Raiders have scored 18 points, but unfortunately for the Raiders fans, Parramatta Reels have scored 44. And I don't think they're finished yet with 15 and a half to go. And that, that's right. He's on the walk of mercy. His forearm it could even be his elbow. Maybe he might have dislocated him. Todd Payton sitting alongside him as well. Having a rest. The Raiders game jumping to 12 points in the second half early. That has been taken away by the Eels coming back into it now. The Raiders have got six more points. It's very important that they can protect that and try to score another try. Restart once again from the Eels. They've scored three tries in the second half, the Canberra Raiders. In fact, they scored 18 points to 12 in the second half. Now McFadden, they go wide again. Map almost through. 25 out from his own line. McFadden at acting half. Over the 30 metre line. He's tackled 15 metres short of halfway. Map once again. Famuana. Highest tackle from Villa. He gets through and throws the ball away, keeping it alive. Back on the inside, Kalela. Over the halfway line by about a metre. Now Shivovsky from acting half. There's a gap there. And he picks up nearly 20 metres. Last tackle for the Raiders. Kalela acting half. Now Monaghan for the corner. The kick will it cross the touchline. Yes, it does. Now let's watch this Canberra pack when they pack the scrums. Too. Well, that was a good set of six by the Canberra Raiders. Taking it from one end of the field to the other. Nice kick play the balls. Shivovsky stealing 20 metres from a dart from the dummy half area. Finch exploring that left hand side of the field. But the Eels will get the ball and we'll, this will turn Mark. Uh, they've got their heads in there this time. Yeah, they don't look really packed in though, do they? They don't. They're better this time. They only had... Hands up now. Come on, camera, come on. 15 metres out. Come on, Mark. 
Now 29 metres out the Eels. And they had five in the scrum now. 13 on the field. Now a penalty. Get out of his leg, but don't milk it like that. That was milk. I oh, know, get out of your leg, I oh, know. They only had five in the scrum then, Canberra. I was that's just trying to count the heads to see whether they were down to 12. They've got 13 out there. And they should have had six in the scrum. Now they're in 10 metres into in Raiders territory, the Eels. Drew at acting half. That's the Duckworth, Taylor. Like playing cricket in the rain. Now the kick goes through. Monaghan. Nice tackle, 15 out from his own line. Shifovsky, Drew slipped over. He's away from Solomona. Can't get away. From Kalis. Now Kalila. Threw the dummy to McFadden, but McFadden really wasn't in the position. To be any use to him. Solomona injured in back play. Now McFadden from acting half. Beats two. Hodson now. Makes the tackle. But Terry Martin in support. They're at sixes and sevens here, the Eels. Famuana comes to Monaghan. Wolfgram on his outside but took the tackle. Solomon is still struggling to get back into the defensive line. Here's the last for the Raiders. They go to the blind side. Now comes back to Kalela. He puts the ball high in the air. Hodson leaping high takes it well. That's a great take by the little number one. He's not very tall in stature, but he certainly is with the heart, that was a great take under pressure. Here we see the ball, that's terrific stuff by Brett Hodgson. Any young kid who wants to aspire to be a fullback, that's how you take the ball, both hands, and you turn side on, well done. Jason Moody now, 35 metres out, in his own line. Here's Kalis, then about five metres short of halfway. Last tackle here for Parramatta. Drew, looks for touch. He'll find it too. It won't be a 40-20, but it's a pretty good kick, 15 metres out from the line. It's David Solomona coming from the field. He's got a finger in his ear, got a bit of a knock to the head. Comes to the touchline, having a bit of a breather. They threw there, they had a terrific game, particularly the first half. Here's the collision. Solomona, maybe collected a hip or ahead of a teammate. Now McFadden pushing away, still going McFadden. Was finally tackled by Jason Kalis. But Mark, if you have a look at this game, the second half, there's a completion rate 29 for 38. So the Eels have dropped a little bit more ball. Penalty to the Raiders. But their completion rate has improved a lot more and that's what I was going to mention is they've really won this second half 18 points to 12 it's marvellous what you can do if you hold on to that ball and you starve a quality opposition like the Eels with possession O'Hara now is tackled Shifoski trying to jink his way through there was no gap and Kalis's make the tackle Shafoski's in trouble in back play. Monaghan. Wolf Grand. Shafoski limps, limps back to his fullback position. Kalela. About 13 metres out. Famuana. Now it comes to McFadden. McFadden nowhere through. He got the arms free though. It's on the ground. Went backwards. Picked up by Monaghan. Dummies accelerates. Beats one, beats two, and scores the try. The Raiders are in again. 44-22, 66 points, and we've still got nine to go. Well, a good try there by the Raiders. I know that Nathan Kalis was absolutely filthy on his team there, but the Raiders are allowed to promote the ball, not putting the man down. Second phase play again, the ball goes backwards, and here's Monaghan, he feigns the pass. High shot there by Andrew Ryan. He's able to get the ball over the line. But again, there it stops there. You cannot stop McFadden there. He's able to promote the ball. Good work by the halfback. 
he's had a pretty quiet game up till now. It's probably a little bit late to start cutting the opposition up because I think time will beat them. There's Michael Monaghan. His first try for the day. And his first for the career in 2001. And just his fourth first grade game. It's three signed by the Canberra Raiders. He's a big future in the game. He's outstanding. And he came on against the Roosters down at Bruce Stadium a couple of weeks back. They had a shocking first half last week against St George Illawarra, the Raiders. They turned it around in the second. They've done it again this week. But you have to question whether the opposition has dropped off a bit. Slavovsky, three from three. This one's almost on the junction of the 20-metre line and the 10-metre in from touchline. Here's the shot. He's just pulled it a little to the left. So three from four for Clinton Slavovsky. 44-22, the Eels over the Raiders at Parramatta Stadium. We've got seven minutes of play remaining. Shafoski returning to Parramatta for the first time. I don't think Brian Smith will be very pleased with his second half, Steve. Well, I was just thinking about Brian Smith there with only seven minutes to go. He'll certainly, he's an absolute perfectionist, Brian Smith. And he'll be looking at all his players in these last nine minutes, seven minutes, to see that they are focused and they don't drop off their focus. They certainly have done that in the second half. And he'll certainly be watching the players and if they do, they'll be the first to know when they come off this field. Well, as we were saying before the game, best defence in the competition, conceding just 47 tries. And they've conceded 22 points in 33 minutes. Now McFadden, Famuana wasn't expecting it, has lost the forward. Now it comes back to Andrew Ryan. And so the Eels had the opportunity to try and get that 50-point mark. And Mark, I believe just done a message that Sonna Wolford has been taken to hospital for x-rays on that right arm. Come on, come on, come on. Good news there for Canberra Raiders or for Simon Wolford. Now Duckworth, Taylor, You've got numbers there, Hodson inside to Luke Burt. Just ankle tap there by McFadden and taken to ground 12 metres out from the line. Jason Taylor now comes to Kalis, goes back towards the blind side away from McFadden, offloads to Ryan, and Schifowski comes up with a tackle. Five metres out from the line. Plays the ball back. Drew. Hodson, Taylor, Butner. Turn the ball inside. And Hindmarsh's tackle. Now Hodson, dummies, goes himself too easy. Andrew McFadden fell for it. And Brett Hodson... Has been one of the Eels' best. He's set up a few and he's finally scored one for himself. 48 22, and Jason Taylor should make it 50. Well, I think it's appropriate that the likes of Brett Hodson has scored that try. He's been in basically everything today, and there he is. He dummies to the outside. McFadden falls down or slips down. You'll see McFadden here on the right hand side. Goes in, steps inside, falls down. And Hodgson just waltzes over the line and scores a great try. He really has been busy. His first try for the day, 35 in his career, 12 for this year. But what a great little player. Small in, in size, but big in stature, particularly with the heart. Can take a ball, can run a ball, can set up some great attacking raids. Had an outstanding season. The Eels' leading try scorer is Jason Taylor. Looking for goal number seven. He's kicked some beauties. And he's kicked that one again. Tremendous work from the Eels to hit back 50 points. Parramatta, Canberra 22 at Parramatta Stadium. We've got four minutes of play remaining. Jason Taylor has kicked seven from nine. He had one from three. He's kicked his last six straight. 70 points in a rugby league game. It happens so often now, 40, 50, sometimes 60 points. And today we've seen over 70 points scored in the first grade game of NRL. That's off the hand. Famuana went forward. And so the Eels will get the loosened feet. Uh, no, yeah, 
Jason Carlos a bit concerned there that it may have been a Canberra loose in feet. It's certainly off the hand of the Raiders. And he got locked in he go. It certainly did. Now it comes to Butner. Butner to Burt. Back on the inside. Moody was with him. Five short of halfway. Moody from acting half. Over the halfway line. Let him get here. Come on, Cameron, behind me, Cameron, come on behind. Hands off. Into Canberra oh, territory on, by on. about five metres. Kalis driven back in solid three, defence this time. Hold there, Canberra, hold. And very slow to the feet to play the ball. Lucky not to concede a penalty. The Raiders. It's now Jason Kalis. 32 metres out from the line. Taylor. Holding the ball up, Ian Hindmarsh, straight through. Ball out the back to line, and the Taylor is lost to forward. And the Raiders will come up with possession and get it back into the field of play. Now McFadden, oh, the big tackle on Odell Manuel from Moody. Keeps it alive to Finch, and Moody gets him again. Oh, great defence there by the Eels with two minutes to go. If you look at the Eels' performance today, that defence, just like that there, Nathan Kalis and Jason Kalis, brothers in arms. A great tackle there, but there's not been one poor performer out there. The wingers have been involved. The forwards have set the platform. Jason Taylor's had a wonderful game. And Brad Drew from dummy half and hooker position has sparked a lot of attacking raids for the Eels, particularly in the first half. Here's McFadden. Comes to the 40 metre line, trying to get the ball away. It's been forced backwards by the Eels. The referee said play on. And Ryan has come up with the ball. Now Drew. And he's burnt straight through. Grabbed from behind by Terry Martin. Quick play the ball. Ryan goes in there. Now Hodgson, he wants a double. Trying to link with support. Still going. Straight and hard goes Ian Hindmarsh. Ball on the ground at Duckworth. Now Taylor. Back to Tuckworth. No one wants to tackle him, so he stands there. They still don't want to get him. Kalella finally does. 15 metres out from the line. It's almost touch football. Now Butner from acting half. Kick for the corner. Donald looks for four, but no, he can't get there. Wolfgram beats him to the charge. Great little brother there by Butner. Again, launching another raid on the Raiders' line. Michael Butner puts foot to the ball. And of course, Wolfgram had to tap it over. Otherwise, it was going to be another Eels try. But there, that little player there, Fred Hodgson. Great little player. had a terrific game of attack. Taking the ball under pressure sometimes. And it's just been a complete performance. Yes, they dropped off a little bit in that second half with, I guess, um, completion rates. But that's probably to be expected when you're leading 32 points to nil in the first half. Well done, Palmo. Through from the half. Now Taylor with the kick. Hit after he kicked it. Lyon looking for a hat-trick. But Wolfgram kicks the ball away. And that is all she wrote at Parramatta Stadium. The scoreline suggests a comprehensive victory for the Parramatta Reels. It was in the first half. They led by 32 points to nil. The full-time score, Parramatta 50, Canberra 22. Brian Smith not be happy with that second-half performance. 22 points by the Canberra Raiders. Brett Hodson outstanding. Scott Donald picking up three tries. And Jason Taylor just edging closer to that magical mark of Daryl Halligan. The Parramatta Eels maintain their position at the top of the competition table with a 50 points to 22 win over the Canberra Raiders. Michael Vella, the captain there. This is how it finished. Donald three tries. Lyon two. Vella, Moody, Duckworth and Hodson tries. Jason Taylor seven from nine. The Canberra Raiders, Monaghan, Finch, Kalella and O'Hara tries. Shifosky kicked three from four.